wouldn't it be great if you could erase an object from a photograph and then replace it with something else? Well, I'm really excited to tell you that you can now with Canva's new magical photo editing tool, Magic Edit. Just brush over the area you want to change, describe to Canva what you want to see there instead and watch as Magic Edit makes it happen. So last week, I showed you all the exciting new tools in Canva's brand new photo editor, including how to erase an object from a photograph using Magic Eraser. If you missed this tutorial, I will leave a link in the description box underneath this video and in the end screen coming up later. So this week, I'm going to show you how to erase and replace an object in a photo using Magic Edit. So let's make a start. So what, if anything, should you avoid using Magic Edit? Well, first of all, avoid adding faces and hands because they may not look quite right just at the moment. Also, just add one thing at a time and then repeat the process again for any other additions you want to make. Also, for the sake of copyright, avoid adding celebrities or using well-known brands. In terms of limits, you can edit up to 100 photos per day. Because technology is very new at the moment, some results can look a little bit weird or different. And occasionally the unbrushed part of your photo may look a little bit pixelated compared with this surrounding image. Let's make a start by uploading a photograph into Canva. And you can do that one of two ways. You can do it from your homepage, like I showed you last week, by going to the upload button Instantly look at this wonderful cursor. Isn't it great? So click on upload and then choose a file from your own device. Alternatively, you might already have a photograph uploaded into a template like I have here. So I'm going to click on that to open it up. And I have this beautiful photograph of flamingos. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to remove one of these flamingos and replace it with a photograph of a duck, as you do. So with my photograph selected, I'm going to go up to the top left hand corner of my Canva toolbar and click on Edit Photo. And I'll need to use Magic Edit, which is the last of the magical photo editing tools, which I promised I would talk about last week. So I'm going to click on Magic Edit. I now have a magical brush, which is not a brush at all. It's this little circle which is over the top of my photograph. You can increase or decrease the size of your paintbrush by clicking on this little button on the slider bar and sliding it to the right to increase the size of the brush and to the left to decrease the size of the brush. I'm just going to increase it slightly. So I want to replace this little group of flamingos with a duck. So using my brush, I'm going to paint it over the flamingos like that. And let go of my cursor. Next step, I need to click on the continue button. And in the box underneath, I need to describe what I want to replace the flamingos with. So I'm going to type duck. Once that's done, all I need to do now is click on generate and wait for the magic to happen. And as you can see, Canva has magically replaced my flamingo with a duck. Canva will actually generate four different images. So if you don't like the one that they've generated automatically, click on the little thumbnail image to replace it with another one. That one's a little bit strange. I think I prefer this one. So once you've decided on the image that you prefer, just click on done. I love this so much. I'm going to test it out with another photograph. So instead of this rather dull looking dandelion, I think I'm going to replace it with a pretty flower. So with my photograph selected, I'm going to go to edit photo, click on magic edit, paint my paintbrush over the dandelion. I'm 
going to reduce the brush size slightly, paint it over the stem. Don't worry too much if it's a bit rough and ready, it really doesn't matter. Click on continue. Now describe what I want to replace the dandelion with. So let's try rose. Click on generate. And that's almost perfect. I'm just missing a little bit of stem there. So let's try this one. That's much better. How about this one? Or this one? Yep, I think I prefer that one. So I like that one. I'm going to keep it. So I'm just going to select done. Perfect. Don't forget that Magic Edit is part of Canva's AI tools. It's still in beta, so there's a lot more learning and development going on in the background. So if you don't like it at the moment, do keep trying. Now that you've learned how to do that, don't forget to check out last week's tutorial where I walked you through all the incredible new tools in Canva's new photo editor, including Magic Eraser. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because next week, I'm going to be showing you how to use the next AI powered design generation tool, which will help you create a set of beautifully designed templates in just a click. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.